wandering when they're here. With a keep game, which means we probably want to build very big, but that's a little hard to do with the best draw being Swamp Shacks and Slay, but we probably still can do it. It's just going to be a little hard. I'm going to go Abundance, and I'm going to go Slay. If we get enough forums, maybe I'm going to go silver. If we get enough forums, then um, what we can do is, so I want to go displace here. I think I want to go displace. And sure, we'll take a gladiator. I'm um, going to take a lot of abundances, or maybe we just start on the Swamp Shacks already. This is a really bad draw. I'm not worried about Gladiators so much. Because I would have really liked to have displaced an estate into a Swamp Shacks. Uh, but... That's not going to happen here. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. I'm supposed to play this card. Thank you. Now, I think I go for another forum. Okay, back on track. Let's take another silver now. Uh, you don't have an abundance, so this is going to go fine. Be another swamp shacks. Take another sleigh. Okay, so here we go. If I can get all of my estates into swamp shacks, I'll be very happy. If some of them are abundances, that's less good, but okay. I think the forums are actually very important just in terms of being able to set up the Swamp Shacks to not being terrible cards. The Slaves are also going to help a bit with this because the horses, you don't want to rely on just these things to draw. So I think I'm in good shape even though I'm, I have fewer Swamp Shacks. I just think some of the other, and I've exiled less, I, just some of the other stuff is pretty important. Okay, uh, so we're going to displace this into this. Do we top deck it? I think we top deck one. Now what we can do is... It's not going to work. So we're not going to get the money this turn. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is, in fact, 
top deck you. Which did not work out at all. Swell. Uh, Abundance actually is also going to work with Swamp Shacks, though. So that's nice. This is a reasonable turn for you. If you can find more Swamp Shacks in here, it's going to be bad for me. Silver into Forum, huh? Yeah, you're, you're drawing your deck here. And I assume that's going to lead to Fortune. It's not. Okay. Seven of those, so I shouldn't buy another sleigh. Swell. This is going to be a tense game coming down the line. Play. play the sleigh, have nine money, buy a fortune, comes with a gold. I mean, I don't know what else you're doing, forum abundance. Okay, you are doing forum abundance. Two estates down there. Okay. Six. I think I just want to buy fortune here. Because this is going to have the abundances in play, which is going to greatly help my ability to do stuff this turn. And we see the potential downside of what you're doing here. I assume this is another abundance. Good. Okay. Great. Um, 
This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to draw three either way. We want to displace the gladiator into a courtier now. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. This now draws four. Uh, sure, let's put this on top. This gets a gold. And some money. Ten, thirteen, seventeen, twenty. This gets us to forty. Okay. this on the bottom now because it's just a payload card um yeah good enough good enough turn is going to win us the game now it's probably supposed to take a buy there i don't know i think we'll be okay there are a lot of points for you to come back with but You can't get there in one turn. Displaces a horse. Okay. I mean, you getting extra gains. Over the long term, your deck is much, much better than mine. And I'm not going to have the abundances in play this turn. So that is something to be a bit concerned with, but I probably need to get at least like two provinces this turn to feel okay. Pretty sure my opponent can't win this turn. Um, if I if I can get a big enough turn, I can quad again, but that will not be easy. Displacing a horse again. This is, this is surprising to me. I mean, what's in your... Well, you're displacing a ton of horses. Okay. Gatekeeper. Well, that doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess it's in play for your next turn, but... Um, you could buy an action here if you want more money going into the fortune. Yeah, beggar, which will provide you a ton of money next turn. If you get to a next turn, something you're going to get here for sure is fortune. Um, you're going for a pendant with it, sure. Makes sense. Okay, this is very bad. Um, Swamp Shacks doesn't do anything for me, so I guess it's the other thing to discard here, because this is the end of the road. Now... Do I take a duchy? Hmm. Uh, 
gold would be a third gold. I'm going to have six money this turn. So my options here are silver, silver, pendant, copper, gold, copper. If you draw, you just win, right? Because you can get... in exile. Um, we'll see what happens here. I think I lose this turn if you draw well enough. Because you're going to take coppers fully back. That'll be a 10 point swing. Now that's happened. Um, if you take golds back and pendants back, that's 20 more points. And if you can also get, maybe you don't have enough gains actually. You might not have enough gains to win this turn now. Well, certainly this, this hand isn't going to do it. Um, I would expect something like gold pendant for the course. Courtier makes sense. Second fortune makes some amount of sense. this in hand here. I think coins is the way to go here. Uh, and then I think I just have to double province, don't I? I'm two money short of ending the game on fortunes. So I think I just have to double province. You can score 10, 10, 10, I don't remember how many abundances there are. I guess we can figure this out. You have 18 points. That's from three estates and three sets of keep, which means that you have keep for copper, fortune, and something else, which I know must be abundant. So you have two abundances. So you can score five. 10, 10, 10. That's 25 out of the 41. And so then 16 would have to be province, province, duchy, duchy. With a big enough draw this turn, I, I'm not sure if you can do all that because Courtier gains a gold and a, gets a gold and a buy. Um, the abundances only net one gain. Um... So you have one gain from your natural buy, one gain from the two abundances, one gain from the displace. 
No, you have a lot of displaces. You can probably win if you draw well enough. Certainly courtiers also help if you have really infinite draw. I don't think you have really infinite draw. Certainly, though, I expect my opponent to be able to set up for next turn. The second beggar seems quite bad to me. Yeah, even with all these Swamp Shacks, it's hard to get, like, infinite draw. So what I would expect here would be Abundant Silver, I think is the best set of buys. I, I, you want to keep your Abundance in play. You don't want to do this. Uh, it has to make more money to play the Pendant first, right? This makes four. Oh, this actually just wins. Okay. I was forgetting, oh, the abundance is going to count for the pendant. Cool. Yeah. It just wasn't quite enough your long term potential. And you had a little, little bit of bad draw. I don't know. 